So we're going to talk about uh, the examination of the uh, nose. Just some external important topography is that the bridge of the nose is made up of the nasal bones in the top third. This is then attached to the uh, uh, upper lateral cartilages of the nose which form the bridge and then the tip of the nose is formed by the lower lateral cartilages of the nose. When a nasal fracture occurs, it usually occurs at the inferior portion here of the nasal bone where it is the thinnest, resulting in a deviation of the nose. It is very important when there is a nasal fracture to check inside the nose for a uh, septal uh, hematoma. The way to examine the internal part of the uh, nose is to use what we call a nasal speculum here. A nasal speculum is, um, uh, is, is held uh, by placing your index finger onto the tip of the nasal speculum, asking the patient to put the head back, grabbing a light, a readily available light source, which might be a, in this case we'll use the uh, otoscope, or a flashlight is also appropriate, and then we insert the speculum into the nasal vestibule. What is very important here is that the speculum should rest against the ala of the nose, not the septum where it can cause pain. When the speculum is inserted and resting against the ala and pushing it out slightly outwards, it can then be opened widely without causing the patient any discomfort. The light source is brought in, and when we bring the, the light source in, we're examining the nasal septum, particularly looking at Lil's area anteriorly for any sites of bleeding. We're also checking for any nasal septal deviations, or if there was a nasal fracture, we'd be looking for a septal hematoma. We would then look at the inferior uh, turbinate, checking for things such as allergic rhinitis, and then we would look even more superiorly and look at the middle turbinate and the space below the middle turbinate referred to as the middle meatus. When we're done our examination of the nasal cavity, it's very important not to close the speculum inside the nose as nasal hairs can be grasped between the tongs of the speculum and if one pulls out will cause the patient significant pain. So when removing the nasal speculum, close slightly but not all the way, leave it open and remove it. We'll now look into Brittany's other side here. Again, the speculum is inserted. It's some, the ALR pushed out slightly outwards and then the nasal speculum is opened. And again, we check the septum, the inferior turbinate, the middle turbinate, and the inferior, or the middle meatus. Alternatively, if you're on the ward and a nasal speculum is not readily available, you also may use a otoscope to look inside the nose. Use your, use your thumb to elevate the tip of the nose, insert the speculum, and examine the structures that we, were, that we described. Inferior turbinate, septum, middle turbinate, middle meatus. Well now, in, introduce again the same rigid uh, telescope to examine uh, Brittany's uh, nose and we can put her head up. We can see that the the ala on uh, or the vestibular openings on both sides are relatively symmetrical. If Brittany had a deviated nasal septum you may see an orientation more such as that. We'll now insert the uh, telescope into Brittany's nose. I will move over here and there we go. There is a beautiful view of the septum. This is the septum here looking on Brittany's, looking to Brittany's left nasal cavity. This is referred to as Little's area here where uh, bleeding can occur uh, from uh, most common due to nasal dryness. Here's the inferior turbinate which can become enlarged with allergies and here we can see the middle turbinate and the space below the middle turbinate or between the middle turbinate and inferior turbinate is referred to as the middle meatus. 
if a person had, let's say, chronic sinusitis, polyps might originate there. Acute sinusitis, we'd be looking for pus in that area. Way up at the top of the nasal cavity sits the olfactory uh, area. I'll now insert the telescope into Brittany's other nostril. So, we're going to go now and look inside Brittany's uh, uh, right nostril. So, as we insert it here again, we can see the uh, littles area here. There's a little bit of bleeding here. Uh, we can see the, the inferior turbinate here. We can see the uh, middle turbinate here and then the space uh, below it is referred to as the middle meatus at which all the sinus is drained and where we can look for pus or polyps. Okay, that concludes our nasal endoscopy.